four months ago we ended chapter one and today you beautiful nerds welcome to our first episode of chapter two the platinum shadow of the legend of dragoon apologies uh for the delay i'm not gonna get into excuses all i'm gonna say is i'm sorry i love you Thank you so much for still being here, and I hope you enjoy this episode. Uh, I have had a lot of recording issues. I said I wouldn't get into excuses. Shut up, Corey. Anyways, in the last episode of The Legend of Dragoon, we defeated Emperor Dole. Herschel also was able to get the Violet Dragon, uh, Dragoon Spirit. So now we are a total party of Dragoons. But even though we freed Sergio from the rule of Dole, we decided that it was a, 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 a bad idea to just end our escapades there. And instead, we needed to focus down Lloyd. We needed to chase Lloyd to Tiboro, Tiboro, Tib Tiboroa, uh, where our journey continues in the shortest chapter of the game, even though, my friends, it is the best chapter of the game. So let's get started with Chapter 2, The Platinum Shadow. Our party approaches. Guys, we are so... We're so cool. Look at... Shayna's, like, excited to be here. This is a, a, a totally different kingdom. Most of these guys have never experienced this place. Uh, all right. So, Tiboroa. A, a pretty cool place to hang out. There's a lot of stuff that we can do here, guys. A lot of stuff. But since it's been so long since we've actually played, I want to just do a little bit of a checkup to see who's in our party right now. We have Dart... Albert Hashel. Uh, Hashel is level 15. Albert is 16. Dart is 17. Uh, and then, of course, we do have Shayna at level 13 and Rose at level 16. Shayna has some, some leveling that she's got to do. We do have some good things equipped. Uh, Dart has the Heat Blade and Armit, a Chain Mail, an Iron Knee Piece, and a Night Shield. Uh, Shayna has the Legend Cask, uh, which is that 10,000 gold that I ended up getting in the previous... a oh, long time ago. Um... It's super, super strong, which is why I don't actually have it on any of my party members, because it's too strong, so I would rather have it on her. So we do have some big things that we have to do here, and that is, first off, first and foremost, oh, we need to find Stardust, but first, I smell the ocean from this river. It's close to the sea. Is anything wrong with the bridge? It says, Claire Bridge. It's the same name as my mom. Oh, my runaway daughter is named Claire, too. There may be some secret connection between us. It's impossible to have such a coincidence. I agree with you. Let's say the population of Endonis continent is about 1 million, and 550,000 are women. According to the statistics of the Royal Personnel Authority, 4% of all women have the name Claire. It means, from a statistical point of view, just looking tells it all. They don't look like each other at all. Hmm. Indeed. Carnioscopically speaking, the distance between their skull, eyeballs, and also their jawbones are... Oh my god, Albert. Let's go. He won't finish talking until dusk. <laughs> oh, that was fun, though. All right, so we have some things that we can do. The first thing is uh, we can run up here. You can go on the roof of all these buildings, which is pretty nice. And oh, it's a stardust! Oh my gosh, we found a Stardust. That's pretty cool. So, uh, also, I just like that you can go on top of all of these buildings. It seems they're not used often. Well, I want to sit up here. It looks nice. All right, so let's go across the bridge. And then, I like I like that conversation. That was pretty cool. Um, I want to see... There we go. I was like, uh, I want to, I want to see something. So I think first, first we're going to actually go this way because I, I, I want to show that right up in here, right up in here is a, uh, a shop that we can go to. And, it, you know, shops like this typically will have, hey, a Stardust, another one. Isn't that pretty cool? 
I think that's pretty cool. So we can go ahead and talk to this person here. To go to Danu, you have to go through the Barrens, and that place is infested with bandits. So we can talk to the big guy over here. Great edge, great fit. All right, the weapon shop. Let's see if there's anything that's actually worth buying here. We can get a shadow cutter for our dear Rose. Uh, we do have an option to buy chainmail here. Um, but I don't think we really need that right now. Soft boots we could grab for uh, Rose and Shayna. I'm actually just going to grab both of these. Rose is armed. So let's go ahead and equip that on Shayna as well. We also have a poison guard. Luckily, we already have one of those. Um, an active ring, a protector, a panic guard, stun guard, bravery amulet, magic ego bell. Uh, all of those prevent certain status afflictions, which is pretty cool. We also have a power wrist, night shield, war god calling, uh, which obviously we don't need. Um, so I would say that right now is a wonderful time to go ahead and equip the Shadow Cutter on Rose, which is pretty neat. That's actually like the first time that we've been able to get an upgrade for her. And why don't we go up one screen? And right here, we can find another shop. I love the music. Oh, it's so good. This is an accessory shop, but if we look, colorful gems are lined up. It's beautiful work. Is this the shape of the universe too? Hmm. I wonder if there's anything over here. Colorful gems. It's very pretty. Is there... I wonder if there's anything... There we go! A stardust! I told you. You guys thought I didn't know, but I did know. Uh, in Tiburoa, gems are used as amulets. These are not for mere decoration. Ah, then what do we have for our accessories here? We have a ruby ring, a sapphire pin. When damaged by magic, MP is accumulated. Uh, an emerald earring. When physically damaged, pretty cool. Platinum collar. When physically damaged, MP is accumulated. These are pretty useful, but we're not going to buy any of those right now. We don't have to really worry about stuff like that. If it's around for the whole game, I wouldn't stress it. And now we can go right back. Oh, yank! What? What's happening? Huh? Hmm. Shoot! Pr Princess Emile is here! It's too sudden! Ah, oh, it's scary! Gods, please help us through this! Uh... Sh she looks mean. I heard somebody say, shoot. Who said that? Oh, even the dog's like, no way. Hey, I'm the princess in this country. You have to be nice to me. Oh, a pregnant lady. Uh, excuse me, your highness. I would like you to name my soon-to-be-born baby. I don't think so. It's a hell on wheels. Oh, no. Disgusting. Stop crying. Since my husband was killed by bandits, this, this baby has been my only hope. Bandits? Fooey, you bore me. Oh, that was so mean. Where, where are we? Wow! Is... Is that person Princess Emile? I heard she was very sweet. Oh, no. If this is a dream, please wake me up. Uh-oh. So he seems to be a little bit upset about it. So now we have a pretty big deal over in this item shop, my friends. There are many things other than star-related products in this store. This is not on sale. Another Stardust! That, guys, is our fourth Stardust. Fourth out of five, by the way. So we can talk to this vendor and buy something. And he sells Healing Breezes, which are, like, our new best friend, man. Which means we're actually going to sell all of our healing potions. Uh, we're going to sell them all. We don't, we don't want to mess with those anymore. It is time that we moved on, my friends, and that we got... Uh, we got some beautiful oh wow we have a lot of we have a lot of items we have a lot of items man and i don't I, I have nowhere to put them this is a problem we're just gonna go ahead we're gonna we're gonna buy we're gonna buy some healing breezes well i have three three healing breezes sounds good to me those will heal everybody they act like a healing potion uh or uh yeah but for everybody so one of those will work on the entire team uh which is very very useful trust me so we want we want some of those
And we're going to go back over here into the first screen that we were on when we entered Tiparoa for our final Stardust of the whole town. And let's go up these stairs. Hmm. Over here, this box must have had wine in it before. Oh. Our fifth Stardust. So many Stardust in this. Oh, hello. Welcome! Come on in! All the way to the back! Come on! Come on in! Ah, oh, such slow pokes! Uh, hello? You guys are from out of town, aren't ya? Uh, yeah, we are. Yeah. I knew it! I could immediately tell you are not from here! Oh, okay. You guys, mm -mm, smell like exotic foreigners. Let me give you a quick introduction to this town. You saw lots of star shapes in this town, didn't you? Those were decorations on top of roofs or mosaics on the street, right? It's because Tipperoans have faith in the stars. Naturally, we have an advanced astronomy. It's the study of stars, isn't it? Sounds wonderful. Right? We are here to pursue Lloyd. Hmm. What do you say? What are you two guys whispering about? Are you becoming more interested in stars? Yes, we are. Really? To tell you the truth, I'd love to talk about stars with people from out of town while working at this here bar. Well, the stars are beyond the sky. They're way over the clouds. They're bright, although they are far away because each of the stars has a lighthouse on it. Because they have a lighthouse, they never get lost in the sky. And, 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 hey, Kathy, don't give the customers a hot time. Okay, sorry. I gotta go back to work. Well, why don't you come back later? I have lots of things to uh, tell you. Besides, actually, we're not that busy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I love this game so much. She works all right, but talks too much about all that silly stuff. You want to talk to me some more? It's okay now because my boss is not looking at us. <laughs> Come on, all the way to the back. I know, actually, you want to ask about something other than stars. Uh, yeah, 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 I guess so. Yep, we're looking for a man named Lloyd. Hmm, Lloyd. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Huh. I don't know. If Miss Caffey the hipster doesn't know it, means he probably isn't in this town. Are you still interested in healing about stars? Uh-huh. Sorry, I only know things that everybody else knows. You know what? I'll introduce you to a person you would like. He's an astronomer named Fester. He is crazy about the moon that never sets. I think he can tell you lots of interesting things. The moon that never sets. You know, the one over there. The strange star in the sky all the time, day or night. I heard he's doing research about the relationship between a monster called the Black Whatchamacallit and the moon that never sets. Whoa. Why don't you drop by? He's next door. Hey, Kathy, stop goofing around. It's already dark outside. Okay. Sorry, I gotta go back to work. <laughs> the Black Whatchamacallit and the moon that never sets. Interesting. All right, now there's actually people. I heard King Albert Asertio went on a journey. Yeah, he's literally standing in front of you, dude. I heard King Albert Asertio. You're, you guys are literally saying the same thing to each other. You dweeb cakes. Platinum hair. I think I saw someone like that in some city. Oh, okay. Hey, what about my stardust? I used to admire you, but except for the stardust, there are just bits and bobs. You can still get that stardust. Don't worry. It's not like missable. You didn't like lose it. Oh my God, it's dark. This is beautiful. All right, so we're not gonna go into the inn. Instead, we're gonna go to this house right here. This must be the house next door. I wonder if Mr. Fester is in. They have doorbells? Maybe not. The lights are on though. Let me see. Mr. Fester, are you home? Yes, yes, I am. Oh. Oh, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I was admiring the moon. Come on in, please. Let's talk inside. Inviting strangers into his house. Okay, buddy. We're here to ask you about the moon that never sets. Ah, about the moon that never sets. Oh, wait here for a minute. Let me get some materials. You are interested in a weird matter. Hmm. Oh, yes. Of course, I cannot make judgments about other people. 
Please, take a look at this. Guys, are you ready? In astronomy, a moon that never sets cannot exist. It cannot exist? That's right. Stars travel the sky by catching the winds of time. But this moon isn't affected by time. It never moves day or night. That's why it's called the moon that never sets. After counting 108 years, when the moon that never sets glows red, a moon child descends upon the earth to fill the world with holy bliss. A poem of yore telling the fate given by the moon. However, what we really get is the spawning of destruction and fear, that is, the black monster. Black monster. Why a demon, not a blessing? What does it mean? The mystery has yet to be resolved. The black monster could not exist. The voice acting is just phenomenal in this game. <laughs> uh, Festers isn't bad though. I never imagined we would be able to get some information on the black monster here. Did you find this useful? Yes, you think so too, right, Dart? Very good. It is a pleasure to be helpful to such a beautiful lady. I'm just gonna ignore that. Oh, it's getting late. I have to hurry up or I will be making the princess wait. It's hard to eat only by astronomy. I'm acting as the governor of Princess Lisa as well. Princess Lisa, so there's two princesses. Oh, if you want to take a good look at the moon that never sets, go upstairs and take a look through the telescope. It's set in the direction of the moon that never sets. Now, I am heading to the castle. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Have a good day, you fools. Look at this place. Many things are just placed carelessly. Well, why, why would you do that? That's... Why would you just place them carelessly? Anyways, we can go up here if we want to take a good look at the moon that never sets. Uh, there's nothing that you can get here. There's no items or anything, but it's pretty cool to at least take a look. This is the moon that never sets. Look at it. It looks amazing. Magical almost. So the black monster comes every 108 years? And the black monster is what they said was the moon child? That's supposed to fill the world, but instead it destroys everything? So the moon child is bad! Hmm. So as you can see, now that we're outside, there's these guards walking around. These guys were not here before. Please make sure that you don't go out at night. Recently, there have been bandits in the city. Well, what is that? What is that? Hey, hey. Uh-oh. A curfew has been ordered for your protection from bandits. Hey. Okay, so we can't. Well, that's annoying. What about, in... so we have to stay the night at the end. Okay, makes sense. Hello. Have you seen Princess Emile? Yeah, she seems like a real jerk. All right. Hi. Oh, no. We have no room available for today. Can you come back some other time? Sorry. What? What am I supposed to... Dono has a po port, but you cannot put a boat to sea now. They say it's dangerous because a sea dragon is causing a ruckus. Oh, okay. Princess Lisa is the youngest, younger sister of Princess Emile. She's affectionate and good to her sister. Even though Emile's a jerk. I was going to go to Dono. Don Donau. But there are gangs there. Gangs? All right. Well, we can't stay the night here, so... Hmm. Maybe we can go up to the cafe. I actually... Guys, I know where to go. I'm just... I'm just trying to, you know... The story doesn't know that I know where to go. You know what I'm saying? Hey, who's this? It's rare for a young person to have platinum hair. I wonder if it's due to stress. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. 
I guess there's nothing here. We won't talk to Kathy. We know where to go. Instead, we could actually head over here. So remember when I was like, this looks like a cool table. We can actually go right into this house uh, to get some stuff. But first, I'm actually going to go see... Uh, I don't think we can actually enter that, so I'm not going to worry about it. What's this house? We haven't gone in here. You don't have to do any of this, by the way. This is not this is not at all anything. Even though we just got married, we still go to sleep before Nello. Are you asking me the reason? You should know. <laughs> oh, sex! That's what they're talking about. You should... Sex! They still go to bed before Nello. Who's Nello? Oh my god, I keep going in, in and out of this damn building. Hang on, give me a... <laughs> I can, uh, guys, I can play this game, okay? Give me a second. There we go. I want to talk to this person. I see the stars pretty well tonight. Well, good for you. Good for you. Okay. Well, I thought she would say something a little more interesting because, like, her husband was talking about, you know, because they're newlyweds and they're, they're boinking. But that's fine. Whatever. All right, so let's go talk to Nello in here. Oh, by the way, this is Nello. <laughs> Spoiler! Welcome. I am Nello, the representative of the Green Project, turning the brown barrens to green, the deserts to forest. Don't be so shy. You, too, wish to bring green back to the earth, don't you? Uh, yeah, we do. Yes, we do. I thought so, but it's already late. It'll take a whole night to explain my plan. A whole night, hmm? But actually, it's okay with us, isn't it? It sure is. We have no place to go. Uh, we were in trouble because there was nowhere to stay for the night. We're not allowed to leave town either. I see. I have plenty of time to tell you about the Green Project tonight, then. The revegetation of the desert is a very interesting issue. Right. In principle, the relationship between humans and the Earth should be. Oh, God. They're nerds. Shana, are you okay? Watching the butts? Oh, I thought she was going to throw up in the dude's plants. Maybe they're some kind of flower buds. I've never seen anything like this. I wonder how they bloom. You are excited about it, aren't you? Talking about buds, you've always liked to see flowers blooming. <laughs> Talking about buds, buddy. You remember that. I remember everything about you, Shayna. Humans should grow up surrounded by greenery. Exactly. Green not only gives peace of mind, but brings us marvelous things. Fruits, vegetables, delicious air, all are brought by greenery. I guess they really will talk until morning. The king has such curiosity. Yes, he does. I hope we can fill Salis with green someday. Yes, together. The issue here is how to promote the greening. That's the key issue. The research requires a lot of money. Well, we could farm out those robots for money. Those are pretty good. Pretty good money. I could sell the legend cask. I don't know. Do you guys... Uh... I'm not actually going to do that. All right, so we can talk to Nello. Have you been to Donu? Dono? It is also known as the Flower City. It's a wonderful town filled with green. All right, so there doesn't appear to be anything that we can do here. We saw this town earlier. Uh, all the plants are dead. I guess the soil is bad. So if we came over here and actually talked to uh, Nello, Nello was there earlier. Hmm. There are no signs of Lloyd after all. I cannot imagine that Emperor Dole told us a lie. In his last moment, my uncle was himself again. I think we can trust the information that Lloyd headed for Tiberoa, so we should assume that we cross paths with Lloyd. So, where in the world? In any case, the king is getting along with a motley crew like us. I was concerned at first. I even imagined that we were going to be pushed around by the king's ego. Please, stop teasing me, both of you. What I would like you to do is just treat me as an equal, as a friend traveling together. Dart is not good at speaking with courtesy. He gets cramps in his tongue when he tries for a long time. <laughs> oh, I appreciate your solicitude, your majesty. Let's stop using that, your majesty. We'll be in trouble if anybody hears that. Anyway, the priority is to pursue Lloyd. So we have to go to now. This is not the only town in Tiberoa. If my memory is correct, there should be a town called Dunao along the North Seashore. Well, let's go! Let's go there now! Okay, let's leave as soon as possible. Wait! Wait! 
No, I never have the chance to love you. Uh, so there is actually some stuff that we want to get. Nello will have moved and is back in their garden. My dream is to fill all of Tipperowa with green, just like Janao. No matter what other people say, I will do it. But we, if we head back to the cafe, now this is the thing that I actually wanted to show you guys. If we head back to the cafe, we will meet somebody that we have seen in the past. Oh my gosh, look who it is. Don't you want to talk about something else like stars? How many times do I have to say it? I want to hear about stardust, not just stars. I told you that if I don't know about it, nobody knows about it. So don't you want to talk about something else like stars? Oh, it's you. Hi, guys. You know him? Yes, I do. We're best friends. We talk about stars. You're back again, but my boss is not in yet. You know what? I have a good idea. Here, she wants to talk about Stardust. Thanks. <laughs> what was that all about? Dude, I don't know. She's weird, man. Well, I already told you about Stardust, so. Oh my God, that crying is horrible. That is terrifying. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, poor baby. She started crying again. Okay, please shut it up. That's horrible. No, stop it. There's a good baby. Oh, thank you so much. That was horrifying. That wasn't even a baby. That was like a grown man just screaming. I'm staying here in this town for a while. About Stardust. When you get some, you can drop it off here. I'd appreciate it. Well, we have some. It's hard to find Stardust, isn't it? I guess I knew it, though. How about you? We have 25 total Stardust. Thanks. Thanks a million. In return, take this. It's the rare thing I promised you. And we'll get a physical ring and an amulet. Thanks in advance for the next time. It's hard to find Stardust, isn't it? I guess I knew it, though. How about you? No. I already gave you... I already gave you all of them. But I won't give up. All right. I know it said 18, but don't forget that we delivered seven of them previously. The first time that we met Martel. So it's been Martel? Myrtle? I don't know. Either way, um, we already we already kind of gave that to her. So this is actually a, um, another area that you can go into in the center here. It's like a church. We're not going to worry about that just yet. I don't think we've been in here yet either, though. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure... This is the church. I'm sorry. Oh, no. This is the, the healing, of course. Um, and then we can go into this side. And, oh, that's the pregnant woman. I just wanted her to give my baby a name. Princess Emil was mean. Yeah, I had I had a need to go to Danau, but I gave up because it's too scary to go. So these bar these these bandits are like really ruining stuff, huh? Like nobody can really leave. It's not safe anywhere. Danau is like all messed up and gangy. Anyways, you can come up here. Nice little area. That's all. I just wanted to show. It's yeah, completion, you know? If I didn't, somebody in the comments would be like, hey, why don't you go in that building? And I'd be like, shut up, nerd! Anyways, <laughs> let's uh, let's actually head into the item shop real quick because there is some stuff that I want to uh, purchase. I want to sell some more stuff and purchase some more stuff. So let's go over here and we are going to buy something. We're actually going to sell a bunch of stuff. Uh, we are going to sell a bunch of angel prayers. I just we will keep one just in case, uh, but we'll sell these body purifiers as well. And, uh, oops, and I think these spark nets and this burnout, um, we'll get, we'll get some of this stuff later, so I'm not super worried about it. And what we want to buy now is actually some trans lights, because we can, because we can. So I'll, I'll get five, six of those, that works for me. Uh, those are going to be really, really useful for a boss fight that's coming up. So having the translate obviously is going to do more damage against dark type enemies, and we have, we actually do have a bunch that we want to fight. Um, we could go into the accessory shop, and if there's anything there that you're, like, worried about, uh, uh, you want protection from, yeah, you can go do that. You want the, you want to build SP more, whatever. Um, I just don't really think it's worth it at this point in the game. And then for any of these, uh, we already got everything. We equipped the soft boots and everything else. Uh, and then we already have the chain mail that we needed to give Albert and, uh, and Dart. The chain mail is pretty decent in that... If you buy it, it will actually raise the magical defense of, uh, in this case, I think, um, yeah, Albert magic defense will go up by four, but he'll drop defense by seven, which is 
I think, just a bit too much, and it's not really worth equipping that on him. The, the things we'll be fighting aren't necessarily magic right now. They will be later, but as of right, just coming up, it's not that big of a deal. All right, so we are going to leave town. I think, oh, hang on. I haven't showed this building yet, and let's go ahead and do that. It's important. It's important to show everything. This is the this is the church. This is like where people study faith. I don't know what people do in churches. Try the planetarium so that you can feel the holiness of the starry night. It's so weird that this place is like so... It's a church. I'm praying to get the gentle uh, uh, meal back. When you enter the faith, the father gives you your own star and you worship the star. Weird. You'll come to a port city called Danao after you go through the barrens. But they are not allowing ships to put out to sea because of a dragon. A sea dragon. We believe in the stars, but stars were created by the creator Soa. Ah! We've heard about Soa before, the creator. Uh, back in Bale, when we heard from um, Albert's advisor there. The great creator Soa. So if we come into this room, it's starting. Please enjoy yourself. What is it? Oh, it's like a little planet. Oh, it's beautiful. Stars. So familiar, yet so sacred. Precious beings for Tiburoans. Stars are floating in a faraway realm. They travel in their realm with the help of the light from their own lanterns. What we call starlight is the light from their lantern. Now, please enjoy our special star Fantasia. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. I hope you enjoyed the sensational star Fantasia. I did so much. Thank you. That was beautiful. The music, especially in... Oh, my God. It's so... I love this game so much, guys. I really do. All right. So then we can head out of here. I just wanted to show that. It's so it's so soothing and beautiful. And, like, I could fall asleep to that music, you know? It's so nice. Um, we can go out this door as well. And this is a place where, like, there's not much here. We can only date in a broken planetarium. That's life. Besides, this place suits us. It's as if it's foretelling our fate. I won't give up. Someday I will be with you. We can't. You are just an usher at this planetarium, and I am... What I want is not your money. It's your heart. I know. I know. I believe they will understand someday. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> what, what are you talking about? Uh, are you looking for the planetarium? This one's not working. Uh, you gotta go, buddy. It's over there. Please, that way. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. I love the world building in this game. It's so great. I love it so much. It's so great. Like, that has nothing. It has no bearing on the story, but, but like, we got a little bit of it. You know what I mean? It's so... Ah, oh God. I just love it so much. It's so good. And you can go out this way. Look at how cute this is. Oh, Hey, raise your hands in the chat if you love this game. Just ra raise them high. Raise them high. Let me know. <laughs> it's so good. All right. So now we are pretty much done here. We can rest at the end if we want. Don't do that because you're fully rested. Um, you you haven't you haven't battled at all yet. It's on disc two, so like don't don't waste your time doing that. Uh, but let's head out for the first time ever. To the barons, you barons. All right, so this way over here leads to the barons. No entry. If you wanted to go... Oh, gosh darn it. I got to practice my uh, additions anyways because it's been four months since I played this game. As I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. We could actually head back to Sergio by going this way uh, up on the world map. So if we run to this post, you'll see... Barrier station south of Sergio or north of Sergio. I just think that's cool. You can go back to a lot of places that we've been missing. And in fact, it's actually a good time to do so. Uh, but I'll, I'll show you why. I'll show you why in a little bit. All right. So, my friends, that is going to be it for our first, our first episode back from quite a bit of a break. I hope you guys enjoyed our first episode of Chapter 2, The Platinum Shadow. In the next episode, we're going to do a little bit of uh, potentially backtracking, 
but we're also going to head into the Barrens, where we have a boss fight, and then we'll be heading into Danau, which is my favorite part of the game for a very specific reason. I'm so excited to show you guys. Uh, it's, it's, I'm very excited for everything that's coming up. Uh, ah, I love it so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode of Legend of Dragoon, make sure to throw it a like. Just, just, yeah, hit the thumbs up button. Just smack it, smack it. Uh, you can also subscribe by smacking the subscribe button. Uh, and also, if you did enjoy it, you can check me out on patreon.com slash missile online. Keep me doing this full time. I also stream almost every day over on twitch.tv slash missile online, where we are currently playing through every Final Fantasy from Final Fantasy 1 to 15, and we are on four. Almost done with it. Thank you guys again for watching. Episode, the next episode of, of Legend of Dragoon will be coming out very, very soon. I love you. Thank you for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed the break. Uh, happy holidays. Happy New Year. I love you. And never give up. Never surrender to the Platinum Shadow.